All right, YouTube, today we're gonna to be talking about raising your own worms for fishing. And this also will apply to composting. If you wanna compost your kitchen scraps and uh, cardboard waste and things like that. So this container here is a pretty big Tupperware container. Uh, it's about three feet long and about a foot and a half wide there. Um, you can start out really with whatever size container you want. So you notice we got some cups from Walmart. These are Wrangler worms. And you might think that they're red wigglers, but they're not. They're actually a worm called a European nightcrawler. European nightcrawler is a good all around worm. If you live in an area where it gets warm or even hot in the summer, these are empty. But I started this worm bin by just adding worms from Walmart. And a cup like this has 30 worms in it and it sells for about $3.50. Not too bad of a deal, but you can go through a container of worms pretty quick. So something that you can do is just buy you a couple of them, fill up a container like this with leaves and dump them in there, wait a couple months and they'll start multiplying. So what I've done is I ordered a couple bags of worms on eBay and we're actually going to be unboxing these or unbagging these, if you will, here in this video. And each one of these two bags is a pound of worms. It's a mixture of European nightcrawlers and red wigglers. Now red wigglers are supposed to be one of the best compost worms because they eat a lot and they multiply really fast. European nightcrawlers are also up there as far as composting, but their little cocoons or eggs, if you will, uh, don't have as many babies in each one as the red wigglers. So I thought it would be kind of cool to get a mixture of both. But the main reason that I got these two bags is it was a buy one, get one free deal. And I think uh, it was somewhere around $18 for a pound so you ended up getting uh, two pounds at around nine dollars a piece and I paid for these with eBay bucks so it ended up being free so we're gonna unbag these here in a second but first things first I kind of dig around in here and show you a little bit of the worms you can start your worm bin with really anything you can use uh, just leaves you can use cardboard you can use a mixture of both but what's going to happen is over time it's going to slowly turn to dirt and that dirt is basically called worm castings it's like worm poop and uh, it's really good for gardening so a cool byproduct of growing your own fishing worms is that you also have some really good soil to do your planting but this is a three inch european night crawler this is about the size that you get with those Wrangler worms from Walmart. They also sell these uh, labeled Big Red Worms. And all that is is the same kind of worm, just an adult. So that's kind of cool. But I started uh, this bin with a couple hundred worms. And uh, we're going to kind of turbocharge things by adding what's in these bags. Now the lady shipped these uh, priority mail, so they only took a couple days to come in. And uh, I have no idea what to expect here in the bag. But we shall see. Oh wow. Okay, so this is just a first little handful here. And that is pretty much solid worms. Like I said, mixture of European night crawlers and red wigglers. You can kind of see here, they're all about mm, three or four inches. Crazy. So let's get another big handful here wow look at this one 
But so definitely cheaper to buy your worms this way than it is to, whoa, than it is to get them at Walmart. Now the box that these came in was pretty beat up, but it looks like the worms are doing just fine. That is a lot of worms. Just this little handful right here is more worms than you get in one of those Walmart cups. There we go. Pretty crazy. It looks like there's some babies in here too. So I'll do an update video on this in about a month and we'll see how these worms are doing. And I'm curious after about six months, how many more worms we'll actually have. So just kind of a cool way to get free worms at home. It does take a little time, a couple weeks for them to start producing cocoons. I shouldn't have to buy any more fishing worms unless I want to get the huge night crawlers. But I don't think I'll be paying for huge night crawlers. I think I'll just put three or four smaller worms on there. Whoa. So this is just one big mound of worms. Crazy. what I do is I take chicken feed and grind it up in a food processor that's a good looking one there and just sprinkle it on the very surface and the worms actually figure out somehow where it is and they'll all kind of hang out underneath it and come up and eat it and I don't know how quickly they'll eat it now that I have so many in here but before with just a few hundred worms in here I would sprinkle a good handful of uh, ground up chicken feed in here and they would go through it in a day or two. So it's going to be interesting to see how fast these guys eat. But I'm just going to kind of spread them out a little bit on the top and then cover them with a little layer of leaves here. And uh, I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of chicken feed on top and that's pretty much it. Whenever I get ready to go fishing, I can just take one of my little Walmart cups here and reach in, grab a couple worms, and save $3.50. So, pretty sweet deal. If you uh, have eBay bucks, I highly recommend using them on something like this because not only will it save you money on worms, but it'll end up paying for itself multiple times over as they breed so stay tuned for updates on this worm bin i'm going to be feeding them food scraps here and there but for the most part just ground up chicken feed growing worms at home as always thanks for watching in my next video i'll actually be catching some fish using these same worms so stay tuned and we will see you next time We're gonna go fishing.